Indian philosophy refers to ancient philosophical traditions of the Indian subcontinent. The principal schools are classified as either orthodox or heterodox astika or nastika, depending on one of three alternate criteria, whether it believes the Vedas as a valid source of knowledge, whether the school believes in the premises of Brahman and Atman, and whether the school believes in afterlife and devas. There are six major schools of orthodox Indian Hindu philosophy, Naya, Vaisheshika, Samkhya, Yoga, Mimamsa and Vedanta, and five major heterodox schools, Jain, Buddhist, Ahivika, Ajnana, and Karvaka. However, there are other methods of classification. Vidyaranya, for instance, identifies 16 schools of Indian philosophy by including those that belong to the Saiva and Rezasvara traditions. The main schools of Indian philosophy were formalized chiefly between 1000 BCE to the early centuries of the Common Era. Competition and integration between the various schools was intense during their formative years, especially between 800 BCE and 200 CE. Some schools like Jainism, Buddhism, Yoga, Saiva and Vedanta survived, but others, like Ajnana, Charvaka and Ahivika did not. Ancient and medieval era texts of Indian philosophies include extensive discussions on ontology metaphysics, Brahman Atman, Sunyata Anatta, reliable means of knowledge epistemology, pramanas, value system axiology, and other topics. Topic. Common themes Indian philosophies share many concepts such as dharma, karma, samsara, reincarnation, dukkha, renunciation, meditation, with almost all of them focusing on the ultimate goal of liberation of the individual through diverse range of spiritual practices moksha, nirvana. They differ in their assumptions about the nature of existence as well as the specifics of the path to the ultimate liberation, resulting in numerous schools that disagreed with each other. Their ancient doctrines span the diverse range of philosophies found in other ancient cultures. Orthodox schools Many Hindu intellectual traditions were classified during the medieval period of Brahmanic Sanskritic scholasticism into a standard list of six orthodox schools darshanas, the six philosophies. Sad Darsana, all of which accept the testimony of the Vedas. Samkhya, the rationalism school with dualism and atheistic themes. Yoga, a school similar to Samkhya but accepts personally defined theistic themes. Naya, the realism school emphasizing analytics and logic. Vaisheshika, the naturalism school with atomistic themes and related to the Naya school. Purva Mimamsa or simply Mimamsa, the ritualism school with Vedic exegesis and philology emphasis, and Vedanta also called Atara Mimamsa, the Upanishadic tradition, with many sub-schools ranging from dualism to non-dualism. These are often coupled into three groups for both historical and conceptual reasons, Naya Vaisheshika, Samkhya Yoga, and Mimamsa Vedanta. The Vedanta school is further divided into six sub-schools, Advaita monism, non -dualism, also includes the concept of Ajitivada, Visishtadvaita monism of the qualified whole, Dvaita dualism, Dvaitadvaita dualism non -dualism, Sudadvaita, and Achintya Beta Abheda schools. Besides these schools Madhava Vidyaranya also includes the following of the aforementioned theistic philosophies based on the Agamas and Tantras. Pasupatha, school of Shaivism by Nakalisa Seva, the theistic Sankhya school Pratyabhijnya, the recognitive school Rezasvara, the mercurial school Panini Darsana, the grammarian school which clarifies the theory of Svota the systems mentioned here are not the only orthodox systems, they are the chief ones, and there are other orthodox schools. These systems, accept the authority of Vedas and are regarded as orthodox astika schools of Hindu philosophy. Besides these, schools that do not accept the authority of the Vedas are heterodox nastika systems such as Buddhism, Jainism, Ahivika and Karvaka. This orthodox heterodox terminology is a construct of Western languages, and lacks scholarly roots in Sanskrit. According to Andrew Nicholson, there have been various heresiological translations of Astika and Nastika in 20th century literature on Indian philosophies, but quite many are unsophisticated and flawed. Karvaka, Charvaka is a materialistic and atheistic school of thought and, is noteworthy as evidence of a materialistic movement within Hinduism. <laughs> Heterodox schools. 
Several Shramanic movements have existed before the 6th century BCE, and these influenced both the Astika and Nastika traditions of Indian philosophy. The Sramana movement gave rise to diverse range of heterodox beliefs, ranging from accepting or denying the concept of soul, atomism, antinomian ethics, materialism, atheism, agnosticism, fatalism to free will, idealization of extreme asceticism to that of family life, strict ahimsa and vegetarianism to permissibility of violence and meat eating. Notable philosophies that arose from Shramanic movement were Jainism, early Buddhism, Karvaka, Ajnana, and Ahivika. Topic. Ajnana philosophy Ajnana was one of the Nastika or heterodox schools of ancient Indian philosophy, and the ancient school of radical Indian skepticism. It was a sramana movement and a major rival of early Buddhism and Jainism. They have been recorded in Buddhist and Jain texts. They held that it was impossible to obtain knowledge of metaphysical nature or ascertain the truth value of philosophical propositions, and even if knowledge was possible, it was useless and disadvantageous for final salvation. They were sophists who specialized in refutation without propagating any positive doctrine of their own. Topic. Jain philosophy Jain philosophy is the oldest Indian philosophy that separates body matter from the soul consciousness completely. Jainism was revived and re-established after Mahavira, the last and the 24th Tirthankara, synthesized and revived the philosophies and promulgations of the ancient Shramanic traditions laid down by the first Jain Tirthankara Rishabhanatha millions of years ago. According to Dundas, outside of the Jain tradition, historians date the Mahavira as about contemporaneous with the Buddha in the 5th century BC, and accordingly the historical Parshvanatha, based on the c. 250-year gap, is placed in 8th or 7th century BC. Jainism is a Shramanic religion and rejected the authority of the Vedas. However, like all Indian religions, it shares the core concepts such as karma, ethical living, rebirth, samsara and moksha. Jainism places strong emphasis on asceticism, ahimsa non-violence, and anakantavada relativity of viewpoints as a means of spiritual liberation, ideas that influenced other Indian traditions. Jainism strongly upholds the individualistic nature of soul and personal responsibility for one's decisions, and that self-reliance and individual efforts alone are responsible for one's liberation. According to the Jain philosophy, the world samsara is full of himsa violence. Therefore, one should direct all his efforts in attainment of Ratnatreya, that are Samyak Darshan, Samyak Nana, and Samyak Charitra which are the key requisites to attain liberation. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhist philosophy Buddhist philosophy is a system of thought which started with the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, or, Awakened One. Buddhism is founded on elements of the Sramana movement, which flowered in the first half of the first millennium BCE, but its foundations contain novel ideas not found or accepted by other Sramana movements. Buddhism and Hinduism mutually influenced each other and shared many concepts, states Paul Williams, however it is now difficult to identify and describe these influences. Buddhism rejected the Vedic concepts of Brahman ultimate reality and Atman soul, self at the foundation of Hindu philosophies. Buddhism shares many philosophical views with other Indian systems, such as belief in karma, a cause and effect relationship, samsara, ideas about cyclic afterlife and rebirth, dharma, ideas about ethics, duties and values, impermanence of all material things and of body, and possibility of spiritual liberation, nirvana or moksha. A major departure from Hindu and Jain philosophy is the Buddhist rejection of an eternal soul Atman in favor of anatta non-self. Ahivika philosophy The philosophy of Ahivika was founded by Makali Gosala. It was a Sramana movement and a major rival of early Buddhism and Jainism. Ahivikas were organized renunciates who formed discrete monastic communities prone to an ascetic and simple lifestyle. Original scriptures of the Ahivika school of philosophy may once have existed, but these are currently unavailable and probably lost. Their theories are extracted from mentions of Ahivikas in the secondary sources of ancient Indian literature, particularly those of Jainism and Buddhism which polemically criticized the Ahivikas. 
The Ahivika school is known for its Niyati doctrine of absolute determinism fate, the premise that there is no free will, that everything that has happened, is happening and will happen is entirely preordained and a function of cosmic principles. Ahivika considered the karma doctrine as a fallacy. Ahivikas were atheists and rejected the authority of the Vedas, but they believed that in every living being is an Atman, a central premise of Hinduism and Jainism. Karvaka philosophy Karvaka or Lokayata was a philosophy of skepticism and materialism, founded in the Mauryan period. They were extremely critical of other schools of philosophy of the time. Karvaka deemed Vedas to be tainted by the three faults of untruth, self-contradiction, and tautology. Likewise they faulted Buddhists and Jains, mocking the concept of liberation, reincarnation and accumulation of merit or demerit through karma. They believed that, the viewpoint of relinquishing pleasure to avoid pain was the reasoning of fools. Topic. Comparison of Indian philosophies The Indian tradition subscribed to diverse philosophies, significantly disagreeing with each other as well as Orthodox Hinduism and its six schools of Hindu philosophy. The differences ranged from a belief that every individual has a soul self, Atman, to asserting that there is no soul, from axiological merit in a frugal ascetic life to that of a hedonistic life, from a belief in rebirth to asserting that there is no rebirth. Topic. Political philosophy The Arthashastra, attributed to the Mauryan minister Chanakya, is one of the early Indian texts devoted to political philosophy. It is dated to 4th century BCE and discusses ideas of statecraft and economic policy. The political philosophy most closely associated with modern India is the one of Ahimsa non and Satyagraha, popularized by Mahatma Gandhi during the Indian struggle for independence. In turn it influenced the later movements for independence and civil rights, especially those led by Martin Luther King Jr. and Nelson Mandela. Topic influence in appreciation of complexity of the Indian philosophy, T. S. Eliot wrote that the great philosophers of India make most of the great European philosophers look like schoolboys. Arthur Schopenhauer used Indian philosophy to improve upon Kantian thought. In the preface to his book The World as Will and Representation, Schopenhauer writes that one who has also received and assimilated the sacred primitive Indian wisdom, then he is the best of all prepared to hear what I have to say to him. The 19th century American philosophical movement Transcendentalism was also influenced by Indian thought Topic See also Affectionism Ancient Indian philosophy Indian logic Indian art M. Haryana Svayam Bhagavan Trikarnasudhi Topic Notes Topic References Topic Citations Topic Sources Topic Further reading APTE, Vaman Shivram 1965. The Practical Sanskrit English Dictionary 4th Revised and Enlarged ed. Delhi, Mutilal Banarsidass Publishers. ISBN 81-208-0567-4. Basham, A. L. History and Doctrines of the Ahivikas 2nd ed. Delhi, India, Multilal Banarsidass reprint, 2002. ISBN 81-208-1204-2, originally published by Luzik & Company Limited, London, 1951. Balsarowitz, Peter Early Asceticism in India, Ahivakism and Jainism 1st ed. Routledge. p. 368. ISBN 9781317538530. Cowell, E. B., Goff, A. E. The Sarva Darsana Samgraha or Review of the Different Systems of Hindu Philosophy, Trubner's Oriental Series. Taylor and Francis. ISBN 978-0-415-24517-3. Flood, Gavin 1996, An Introduction to Hinduism, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-43878-0 Gandhi, M.K. 1961. Nonviolent Resistance Satyagraha. New York, Shakin Books. Jain, Delichand 1998. Thus Spake Lord Mahavir. Chennai, Sri Ramakrishna Math. ISBN 81-7120-825-8. Michaels, Axel Hinduism, Past and Present. New York, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-08953-1.
1929. Radhakrishnan, S. 1929. Indian Philosophy, Volume 1. Muirhead Library of Philosophy, 2nd ed. London, George Allen and Onwin Limited. Radhakrishnan, S. Moore, C. A. A Sourcebook in Indian Philosophy. Princeton. ISBN 0-691-01958-4. Stevenson, Leslie Ten Theories of Human Nature. Oxford University Press, 4th edition. Haryana, M. Essentials of Indian Philosophy. Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 978-81-208-1304-5. External links A History of Indian Philosophy, HTML ebook Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5 A recommended reading guide from the Philosophy Department of University College, London, London Philosophy Study Guide, Indian Philosophy Articles at the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Indian Psychology Institute The Application of Indian Philosophy to Contemporary Issues in Psychology A History of Indian Philosophy by Surendranath Dasgupta five volumes at archive.org Indian Idealism by Surendranath Dasgupta at archive.org The Essentials of Indian Philosophy by Prof. Mysore Haryana at archive.org Outlines of Indian Philosophy by Prof. Mysore Haryana at archive.org Indian Philosophy by Dr. Sarvpali Radhakrishnan two volumes at archive.org History of Philosophy, Eastern and Western edited by Dr. Sarvpali Radhakrishnan two volumes at archive.org Indian Schools of Philosophy and Theology Jiva Institute